Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all safe and well. It's Mitch here, I'm just coming on to do Monday's guidance reading. Just want to say before I conduct this week's reading, thank you so so much to everybody that came to support me on Saturday at um, a new sort of venue that I'm offering readings from, which is Rowan's um, Closet Arcadia in Swindon. Oh my god, it is an amazing space. I have to say, and this is not just because I'm a good friend of Kelly's, but I have to say, I think actually this is one of the best witchy shops I've been in for a long, long time. And it was so lovely that the space that's been created for the readers is a really private area, because sometimes with shops they can be a little bit hit and miss in terms of space. But, you know, everything was sort of around lovely curtains, it was all very concealed. So thank you so much, um, Kelly, for creating an amazing space, a beautiful shop, really, really powerful energies in there. Um, and thank you so much to everybody that came to support the day. That was so, so lovely to see you. Um, just to let you know that I am going to be back there next month. So I'll be back there on the 8th of July and spaces are already getting booked up quite fast. So if you want to sort of come along and treat yourself to a reading, it's £35 for half an hour. Or if you want to treat yourself to an hour, it's £70. You can book via Kelly Direct at Rowan's Closet and um, she can get you booked in. So I really can't wait to be back there very soon. So with that in mind, I thought that this week I would work with a witchy deck because I'm feeling really witchified after being in there on a Sunday, uh, sorry, Saturday. So I'm going to be working with the Everyday Witches Tarot by the lovely Deborah Blake. And this is one of my absolute favourite decks. So let's have a little look and see. So these are the cards. So let's give them a little knock. Let's give them a little shuffle. Let's see what we need to know about for this Monday and the coming week ahead. Oops. Now, I do have some updates to talk to you about, but I'll do those after I've done the actual reading itself. Um, I'll focus on doing the reading first. OK, so channeling these cards for the highest of good, seeing what the message is. Seeing what we need to know about for this Monday and the coming week to follow. Ooh. Oh, interesting. OK, so we're going into the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, then. This is a card about and around balance, essentially. Balance. So because it's Pentacle related, it's making sure that you're giving to the right types of experience, that you're giving to the right types of people, that, you know, nobody is almost taking advantage of your good nature, certainly from a financial space. Also, if money has felt a little bit hindered or a little bit blocked in recent times, there's going to be some settlement, there's going to be some balance that comes in this week around financial sort of security. But there is a focus with this card on where are you choosing to feed your energy? Where are you choosing to harness or, in some cases, perhaps degrade yourself? So it's when we sort of look at energy, you know, where we sort of put our inputs and our outputs, what we feed into has a habit of creating the experience or the return that we get from something. So make sure that you're investing in the right ways this week. Don't sort of shortchange yourself trying to accommodate other people is what I really feel here. And sometimes we make so much focus on everybody else making sure that they're great and they're comfortable. And then all of a sudden we realise, oh my God, I've almost shortchanged myself by carrying or making sure everybody else was accommodated. So keep the balance this week, guys. And by doing that, the pentacles will reward themselves. So as we sort of look in this card, it's almost like she's giving over to this person that, you know, looks reasonably okay, whereas this one almost is wanting some help and is a bit more in need of it. So it's making sure you don't overlook, you know, what you really need to be investing in, like I say. So I hope that makes a bit of sense. Quite an interesting card to show that one this week, um, definitely. But I will leave that with you. Now, I just want to say in terms of the updates, we've got a lot of stuff kind of going on this week and next week that I want to talk to you very quickly about. So this coming Thursday, I am back at the Rookery Retreat in Western Supermare and I will be doing 
my witch's seance. I have two spaces left for that. So if you're wanting to come along, this will probably be the last seance that I do for quite a while down there because then I'm going to have a little bit break as it's just getting a bit too hot really to sort of be doing too much of that at the moment. So if you want to come along, it's £50 for the evening. Drop me a message. Let's get you booked in. And then I'll be back down on Saturday in Western Supermare doing my um, evening of mediumship at Blagden Community Hall. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be an amazing night. Um, some tickets are still available for that. So if you want to come along and see me do a demo of mediumship in Western Supermare, pop over to my website and you can book the tickets directly. It'd be great to see some of you lovelies there. Teas and coffees will be available on the night and I think there's also going to be some cakes available. So that's going to be a lovely, lovely evening with spirit. Then the following week, I'm going to be in Glastonbury on the 24th. Now, a few people have been panicking and messaging me and saying, oh, is that going to be on still? Because the Glastonbury Festival is on. Now, when I booked that initially, I didn't actually realise that that coincided with Glastonbury Festival. I actually thought I sort of did it, so it avoided it, but obviously not. But I've spoken to the venue. He's reassured me that there will be no problems in terms of being able to get to the, the venue. So there are going to be some sort of security sort of people in place. So it might be a case of you just have to literally say, I'm going down to the village hall. There's an event on. That's all you're going to have to do and all you're going to have to say. But you will still have access to to get to the village hall because that's what some people have been panicking about. And um, oh, excuse my dog, if you can hear him barking. And um, no, it's all going to be good because there, there will be um, space to get in. Um, because they've assured me that, yep, it's it's still it's still OK. I have sold quite a few tickets, but there are a few tickets left for Glastonbury. So if you want to come along to that, it'll be lovely to see some of you there. I did West Pennard Village Hall in Glastonbury or just outside of Glastonbury last year. And it was a beautiful evening. So really, really excited to be back there. Can't wait to see some of you lovelies. And the final sort of date that I want to talk to you about, I wasn't going to do any repeats of venues this year because I was just going to do the one, you know, the one off and then that would be it. But you guys in Radstock, you've been screaming at me to come back already because um, it was such a great night that we did at the uh, Radstock Town Football Club. So I have been lucky enough to secure a second date and it's already selling like hotcakes. I think that I've already sold... Um, just over 50% of the tickets now. So we're already over the halfway mark. So that's probably going to sell out this week sometime, I would think. And that's going to be happening on a Friday night. It's going to be Friday the uh, 15th of September. And the great thing with the with the sort of um, booking of this one, I know before there was a few people in the bar, but I've actually got exclusive access to the venue this time. So there will be no people in the bar so it'll be just the whole night will be my evening. So really, really excited to be back at Radstock later in the year. So if you want to come to that one, don't leave it too late, guys, because like I say, tickets are flying out. So thank you so much if you've been supporting the tour. Those are some of the upcoming dates. We've also got loads of others on the website. So get booking your tickets. It'd be great to see some of you lovelies at the various events. Um, so I'm really, really excited to be sort of offering you that. And like I say, to go back to this week's card with that six of pentacles, just be cautious, just be careful where you're investing, where you're putting your money. And a lot of people I'm talking to in readings, that's coming up quite a lot, actually, about energetic reinvestment. And with the pentacles, it's not always just about our own finances. It's how we see ourselves. So it's almost like seeing ourselves as currency and seeing ourselves as like energetic revenue. And where are we investing that? Are we putting that to good use or are we getting abused by people? And if we're getting abused by people, just put those sort of uh, boundaries in place. Just put those changes in action to keep everything more on your terms. So that's the message this week. Going to leave it with you. Stay well, stay safe, stay fabulous. And I'll look forward to seeing some of you lovelies this week on Facebook or Zoom and at the various Western events that we've got. Two Western events. How exciting. So I'll leave it with you. See you soon. Love and blessings. Bye for now.